Hi, my name is Adam Larson. I'm the engineer, engineering department here at Mastercraft Boats. Uh, here to talk to you today about our new sea strainer and its installation. Okay, on the uh, the sea strainer swap, we're gonna need a few few different tools. First of all, you need a screwdriver, uh, possibly a drill, some good uh, thread sealant, a uh, seven sixteenths or five sixteenths, excuse me, um, ratchet, um, maybe a grease pencil, something to cut a hose, hose clamp, cutting glove for your uh, your knife, and then uh, your materials, your new sea strainer. And depending upon your application, you'll either need uh, uh, a 90 degree with an inch and a quarter, which this is, or a uh, straight with an inch and a quarter, or we also have the straight inch and a half and 90 inch and a half. And that depends upon your application of the engine, OPS, 7.4s, uh, so forth. And uh, what we'll do is start by removing the old uh, C strainer. We'll try to use the re reuse the old hose and uh, use the same locations on most of the boats. A um, couple boats will have different uh, locations. We'll go over the X46 today and show you the, uh, the swap. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, start by removing the, uh, the hose on here. I'm gonna use the Air 90 Remove the uh, hose clamps, loosen this all up. You don't want to reuse the hose clamps you have on here. They should still be good. If they're stripped out, go ahead and replace them. They should still be good. Pop the hoses off. Okay, we get the hoses removed. Next thing we want to do is take the, take the uh, mounting bracket off of the uh, off the mounting surface in the boat. And again, this is a little bit different for each model. Uh, a lot of the models, most of the models have uh, mounting brackets that are actually screwed to a plastic block. And you probably need the uh, screwdriver for those. The 46, we have uh, wing nuts that are easily removed off the uh, bulkhead. So this is the, uh, the old sea strainer. We'll take that, set it aside for now. We're done with that. Now for the 46 in particular, we have a uh, easy one to work with here. All we're gonna do is take the mounting bracket that uh, is easily clamped onto the strainer itself. So you can, you can mount the bracket separately without having the uh, strainer in the way. So we'll take this out quick. We'll set it down so we can work on it. You see where the old strainer was at? We're gonna take and mark where the, the uh, new strainer is gonna be. Just rip, mark it up, or uh, put it about where the, uh, the center of the old one was at. Couple marks on here. Let's use this one. 
This is a uh, 3 16 inch drill bit. Um, we recommend using a number 12 screw. Use a washer, fits down nicely inside of it. This uh, screw is, I think it's inch and a half. Make sure nothing is behind you. Just mark quick. And all this is, is a, uh, it's a pallet holes. Take your drill driver, your number 12 screws with the washer on them. The washer fits down nicely in the, uh, the recess. Nice tight fit. Go ahead and mount this on. 3 quarter inch bore. There you have essentially you have the, uh, the mounting bracket mounted in place. On the other boats, all you would do is take the uh, the old mounting bracket off, put this where the old ones are. Bracket on. Next thing we want to do is prep our uh, C strainer for the uh, fittings that need to go on it, and we'll go ahead and set this bulkhead aside for now. Ready until we're ready to put that all in, and you can. See on the, uh, the fitting, I don't know if you can see this on the strain or not, there's an arrow pointing the water flow direction. The water's got to go in, water's got to come out that way, otherwise this thing won't work uh, properly. Um, we use, for a thread sealant, we use Bostic in the, in the factory. That works very well for us. If you have another thread sealant you really prefer, go ahead and use it. Um, it'll be easy to see when you do your leg test if the, uh, if the um, strainer is leaking anywhere. We uh, specifically designed these fittings to be clear so that you can see any kind of air leak and uh, know what's going on before it affects your uh, engine at all. So we'll go ahead and uh, prep this. In this particular application, we're going to use two inch and a quarter uh, 90s. Um, depending, like I said before, depending upon your application, you, uh, especially with the uh, OPS engines and the uh, seven fours, you probably go with the inch and a half. Also, the uh, fittings may change somewhat if you have a uh, inline flush kit in your boat. So in this one, I'm gonna use a uh, 3M material. It uh, works very well for us. Get that started. Same thing with the second fitting. Be careful not to cross through these. Uh, the Marilon material is, is pretty forgiving, but um, we have seen uh, cross threading in, in, the, in the field as well, which can, can lead to air leaks. All right, so we've got our fittings in place now. We're gonna go ahead and get this uh, mounted on the, uh, the uh, put the uh, bulkhead back in place so we can properly locate which angle we want these uh, fittings to be coming out to to line up with the hoses that we have in place. We're going to grab the this boat, in particular we'll grab the bulkhead, drop it back in place. Get 
that. Now we, what we're going to do is pay attention to the arrow. We have in and out. We're going to snap the uh, strainer into place. And what we can do here is start working with the lengths. Make sure that the lengths are going to be good for us. Like that length is going to be pretty good on the inlet. And get the angle dialed in there. And it looks like on this one. Just a little bit. Just about perfect here. So we have those in place. Remember check, I've got the inlet going to the inlet side of the uh, strainer. Outlet, only outlet, going to the inlet. From here you can go ahead and tighten up your, uh, your clamps again. Remember we kept those clamps from before. Whatever material you're using for your thread sealant, you might want to take a look at it, see if it needs any kind of setup time. After that, take it to the lake, do a, uh, a lake test, make sure you have no leaks. Clear fittings should be a telltale that if you have any air bubbles traveling through them at all, that there's an air leak. And uh, if you see an air leak, make sure that your bowl on the bottom is tight and that the, uh, the mesh screen that is uh, filtering the material or filtering the water. It's pushed up tight against the uh, the housing, and uh, should be good to go after that. This is the X10. This is our DB boat that we use all of our, our testing and validation with, and this is one of our very first boats that we validated the uh, sea strainer with. This sea strainer has been in here for uh, a few months, and what I want to show you is the uh, location of this. And you can maybe even see some of the old mounting bracket locations. They've, uh, what we've had to do here is took the old mounting bracket out, replaced it with the uh, same mounting bracket you saw on the X46, and but we, in this one we had to screw in the fiberglass. Now you can do one of two things: you can you can leave it as is, or you can slick patch it, clean it up a little bit for your customer, depending upon the application. On the X30, the X Star, and the X10, the applications are pretty similar in the same location. Um, some of, the, some of the holes will cover better than others, so depending upon uh, where it gets mounted in that particular boat, you may have to do some patching. Alright guys, I wanted to talk to you real quick about the X25, which is uh, probably one of the more unique uh, installations. In the uh, X25 with the OC strainer, they were mounted on the starboard side in the storage area behind the, um, the rear seat in the engine hatch. That application is going to be, um, we, we think we found a better spot, lower and in the engine compartment, which is going to help, help the uh, engine flow of water a lot easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your old sea strainer out. When you install your new one, we're going to take, have to take your, uh, your ballast pump and move it off center a little bit. And your new sea strainer will mount on this plastic block that's in every single X25 that's out there. And uh, your hose rod needs to be a lot shorter, a lot neater, and you don't have to go back out into your, uh, your storage compartment and ruin storage area. Um, we think that this is going to be a, a much better application and a lot easier, and it actually works a lot better with our, the new sea strainer and, what, and how the routings go.